second one. There we go. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I feel so scattered, but gotta gotta do something Valentine'sy here. I think it's uh kind of required as a nail artist. I mean, not really, but you know, it, it's a very nail arty holiday. But first, I'm gonna do the usual things: a uh, quick Discord message and a quick tweet and. I've been trying to fix my keyboard tray and it's still, it still feels super janky. Okay, there's Discord. And of course, if you are in the future watching on YouTube, please feel free to subscribe to My Simple Little Pleasures for Nail Art. Twitter, will you please cooperate? And if you'd like to join me live, you can come follow at twitch.tv slash Colette MSLP. Wait, did I say smooshy? I mean a scoop marble. I can still edit it. It didn't send. Scoop marble. Is my title right? Oh, shit. Oh, I got it right in my title. Okay, I do halfway know what I'm doing. Um, okay. Um, okay. I should have, I should have already had that done. That makes things easier. I just, I forget sometimes. Anyway. We did some testing for this last time. Hey, Amethyst. Um, and I need to do a little bit more testing. Like, just hopefully just a small amount. Um, oh, that reminds me. I was gonna... Well, we'll just have to be careful. My sesh feed is, like, getting a little bit low. It really could use a refill. Hey, Winterborn. Um, oh, and let me get this camera up here, too. So we did some testing last time. We discovered that the the Orly that I really want to use is like the bottles like very close to empty. So we started looking for like a dupe or something close. And at the very end of stream, I found this Zoya uh, Renee. I, I have not had time to look for the other reds. Like I really wonder where Carmen is. But this one is such a close match that I'm hoping that it'll do what I want to do with the white and the pink. But I've also had this thought that like maybe I want to add a little bit of purple in there. Hey, music gal. All right. Enjoy your lyric. We're going to be testing first. Um, I, I kind of maybe want to throw some purple in there. Like I feel like part of the problem I'm having is that the red is bleeding too much into the white. Of course, maybe changing to the Zoya instead of the Orly will fix that problem. But I feel like maybe if I had a little purple in there as a barrier. Also, hello, Gidge. Um, I'm trying to get my thoughts out of my head before they, like, evaporate. Because I'm a little bit scatterbrained. <sighs> I got this, this, I was, I was up until, like, okay, I'm, I, was, I was up until very late slash early and I slept but I mean I don't know I've said it before this just doesn't seem to be agreeing with me um I think we were using this little guy for scooping before oh music gal also I know you're lurking but I think it was you when we were using the ready for takeoff as our water based top coat on the uh the hearts that said won't won't that probably encourage the top coat to just peel right off yeah that happened i mean this whole manicure wore really poorly but yeah i have that one that's like just purely a clear shell and on some of the other peelies let me actually zoom in here Instead of trying to move toward the camera, move the camera toward me. Um, 
you can see there's like this here hold on let's just move this out of the way and let me grab a napkin so we just have like a plain background going on here mm. oh you're back okay good because i'm talking about what you talked about which is the top coat popping off because I used to peel off base coat as a water-based top coat. Only one did it fully separate off like that. Um, whoa, this is, this is loose. Can you, okay, hold on. This whole camera part is loose. Whoa, why are you not? Okay, hold on. I know I said that like five times. There, that's better. Like, I don't know. I've got a kind of, kind of janky mount for this, uh, this Logitech. This one, you can see there's like a white balance. Why are you, let's turn off the white balance. There's like a bubble where the top coat is peeling. Probably even like if I had an orange stick. Well, I only lost the top on one, but like a couple of them, especially after I peeled. You see this? Um, <laughs> so it's like, actually, you could probably like... It's kind of interesting. Um, like, it wasn't really a problem like when they were on. It just wore poorly in general, I think, because basically the reverse foiling was so thick it made it kind of pop early see this one too it's lifted see if i can i get in between here it's like lifted but there's not actually even any edge you can just tell at certain angles that like they're not they're not adhered together anymore but yeah these like clear shells are kind of weird this one so now we're i i the corner just I don't know. <laughs> I fucking don't even know. But so now... It just looks dumb. And that's already the one that was broken. It's already kind of janky shaped to do that. I don't know. Secret compartment nails, yeah. So... That's what became of the uh, reverse foiled hearts. I didn't even get to record a Peely video for it because they just they were they were popping off literally like left and right and one just lost the little heart before it peeled off it was like after everything the I did add a second coat of top coat and that mostly smoothed things out but then there was like one that just was not it would not lay flat <laughs> hey kitty mm. yeah so I like I, I don't know I don't even feel like really doing anything with this nail right now like it's it's kind of jank and it's it's just gonna have to be that way um let me put this over here because I'm gonna need to get like a napkin out and some acetone out um hey Zuli welcome on in um, so anyway, all that said, mm, wait a minute, what? I missed something. Mm. Whoa, once escaped underneath my paper towel. <clears throat> Aw, I hope that goes away quickly for you, music gal. Wait, smooth what with a tiny bit of acetone? I missed something, I did. Oh, had, oh, oh so frustrating. Hey, caters. Okay, testing. Th these are, these are from last... Saturday yeah it was Saturday um and there's more than one red used here they're all similar reds 
And then these two, one is the Orly and one is the Zoya that's like the dupe. Like I was looking for a dupe for it and I think that I found it. So let's see. This is Zoya Renee. Are we too close here? Um, let's see how that plays with uh, the couple Orly ones. Where? Okay. This is another small one. Let me just actually, do I have a larger lid? Oh, yes. I've got lots of larger lids in here. Oh, but they're not all clean. Some of them are clean. Okay. Why not use red for Valentine's Day? I'll probably actually use like a clear or a white once we get to the video, but I'll take a couple of these out. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Is this fever gone down, Amethyst? <clears throat> I can just see them running around. Ah! <laughs> that happened to me at work one time. I lost a Peely and somebody like saw it like laying on the floor. I was like, <laughs> <clears throat> okay, were we using, I think we were just using like an orange stick to draw the swirl in before we scoop it up. What is on here that won't come off? Mm, don't I have like a more decent, yeah, like this one got a better point on it. <gasps> oh no, kitty. Yes, no, it's not. <laughs> I know the thought of falling is like the worst thing. Oh my God, falling hurts so bad when you're old. I remember, God, I got, actually it wasn't a couple years ago. It was like maybe five or so years ago, but like there's a short flight of steps. Well, it's not, I don't, it wouldn't even count as a flight. Like out the back porch down to the patio, it's like three steps. And I don't even remember. It was it was fucked up because I had been wearing like four or five inch heels all day at work. I was cute. I had like a little skirt on, and I came home and changed into some fucking flip flops. And this is when I fell. And I like I don't even know still what I did, but I tripped somehow at the top of the stairs and just like took all three stairs and landed on my knee I was like <sighs> and of course like there was nobody around to help me or to sympathize I had a big old <sniffs> hamburger knee anyway that sucked I think that's the last like bad fall I took well I I remember I slipped once walking dude a couple years ago too I mean that had to be at least a couple years ago anyway I'm just saying I sympathize that one too. I was like far from home. You you fall far from home and all you gotta do is like limp your ass home. Oh no, Miss Gal. Oh, okay. First, we're gonna try like we were doing before, like the first one, which I actually think turned out one of the best was just two lines of white, a line of pink, and a line of red. I think we also decided, <clears throat> and excuse my voice, you guys, I'm hoping it'll get back to normal soon, but I also have stopped, you know, resting it, so that's probably not helping. Um, although I won't be streaming to, as long today as I was yesterday. I was kind of, kind of naughty yesterday. And, and maybe on Sunday also. People were so into the map though. Oh my God, it was such fun, you guys. All right, so we got plenty of this white. We actually overfilled this white last stream when we were trying to combine it with another bottle. Okay. The white the pink and 
the Zoya red. And I, I'm pretty sure I'm off camera right now. I should have been doing this. Oh, actually, you guys could see that. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just keep it simple like that. And then we'll kind of maybe I need a little bit more swirling than that in on the lid. Again, though, the red is still blending like a lot with the white. I think that's that like there's some nice shapes in there, though. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of like the way your blobs turned out too, though, Musical. I, I forget which one of these. It, it was one of the, these middle ones I did with blobs. It def I mean, it definitely does affect the distribution of color, but once you start scooping it too, like you start moving it around too. I do think, excuse me, that like drawing the, when I was doing it before doing like maybe like eight or nine zigzags on the, on the initial pattern that I was getting even more like blending. Like, I feel like with this, we got like some pretty good pattern and not just blending together. Hi, Lizzie. Um, and I mean, I've done this before. I certainly could go back and reference my other, my other videos, but I mean, this is pretty much what I did before. And there's a, a portion of it that's just going to depend a little bit on the polish you're using. I think, I wonder, let me just peek in the Zoya drawer really quick. I kind of want to try this with a, Oh my God, is this, yes, God. Wait, no, this isn't what I was thinking of. This is a good purple, but this isn't what I was thinking of. It's too blue purple. I thought I literally first tried pulling out the purple there. Okay, second try. Second try works. <laughs> I wanted a deep purple cream. The first one I pulled out was Pinta which is actually very, very dark and is kind of more indigo purple. But I think this would go better with the reds. This is Landon. There's one other one. Oh no. Look at this. Zoya, why are your labels like this? Why are your labels like this? Um, I'll leave that out to, to fix later. Now it just completely fell off. Will you just, well, I'm glad it, I'm glad I didn't lose it. Um, there's like a lot of purples right here. Oh, maybe this is the other one I was thinking of probably. The cheater method, which do you mean the, uh, kitty? Yeah. Lyd Lydia, Linda, Lydia, Lydia, and uh, Landon. So like Lydia's a little bit darker. Hmm. I mean like, oh gosh, Landon, you are much darker out of the bottle than you are inside the bottle. Uh, it's hard to see on the, on the white. But that's very surprising to me. Of course, if the plan is to use... Oh, that's even darker, though. If the plan is to use this between the red and the purple so the red doesn't... Or the red and the white so the red doesn't bleed into the white, presumably the purple will bleed a little bit into the white. Ah, more like a drag marble than a scoop marble. <clears throat> hmm. 
Mm. No. I it would I would I would oh, I would just be in there. I would be like I would I I mean I like drag marbling. I think trying to accomplish this with drag marbling, I would just get too fiddly. Like I would just be like like a part of me kind of wants to do it. Um okay, so let's let's try this. Um, do I just want to add it or do I want to deduct a little bit of white? Let's try just one stripe of each of these, but like a pretty heavy stripe of white. We'll do pink up top, then the purple, and then the red. Oh, the purple's taken over. And that's maybe too many strokes. Um, it it's turns like almost all purple. I mean, not that I'm mad about that. Oh, there's some pink in there. Oh, that was a lot of pink. Hmm. Do I maybe, okay, you know what? I'm liking this, but I want to change it a little bit. I haven't done any drag marbles recently. Okay. Okay. So, and I know I initially said that the purple was to help the red not bleed, but I don't like how they look next to each other. So let's do like that. And like that. You definitely do get some of the, uh, like the red bleeds into a pink, even though I'm not using the actual pink in this one. Still comes across really dark. Maybe I just need to use less purple and red. Hey, Crafty. Hey, Tay. We already did the hollow hearts. They're gone. We did those on Saturday. And they didn't wear very well. <laughs> but I enjoyed them while they were around. I like like the way this is leaning with the purple, but I kind of want even more white. Or like lighterness. Yeah, I, I usually do my nails like twice a week. Sometimes I get off schedule or just like off creatively. Let's try three, three of white and light handed with the red and the purple. Okay, that wasn't really very light handed. It's kind of messy. I mean, not that it really matters if this is messy. Whoa. Don't put that in there. Whoa. Ooh. Got like some soft 
violets and pinks. Like, where's the red, though? Like, it's dis... Okay, there's some. The, like, the technique of how you actually scoop it up, I feel like... Ooh. Like, there's a lot to learn with that, too. Like, because really, it's what you're putting down is what's, like, flowing off the brush. So you got to get something cool on the brush in order to get something cool on your nails. I really like that. Not so much this little lighter beginning area. Like the first lighter beginning area, I don't like, but the rest of it, ooh, it's thick enough that it's flowy. That's really pretty. Mm. Yeah, I, I like the lavender of it. And I like the, the red into the pink. Mm. Okay. Let me swipe this off real quick. I want to try a couple more tests. See if I can achieve a little bit of consistency. Two. Or also, or I mean... Uh, Maybe I want to be working more than one nail at a time. Like the, I feel like the middle and end, like this beginning, it, it's okay. We, we can have a little bit of that. But the middle and end pieces, I feel like are more to my liking or sections. Mm. Yeah, I don't dislike it. It just, it's not quite what I was going for. Like it's too pastel -y. I mean, those colors can be in there, but like we could, we could even maybe work like two, three nails at a time. If I do a larger camera, please camera. If I do like a lot, okay, let's try. Okay. Pink ear, you've been cut. So, and maybe too, if I keep the white closer together, do I even want to just start with the full white slab of a base? That's maybe not the right word. Let's test it. We'll do, we'll do a smaller test of this, but let's test it. That's what testing is for. Okay, white. purple whoa can we get the brush back in the bottle cleanly please self red like the amount of swirls definitely makes a difference too That's kind of, that's kind of nice. Going a, a bit more pastel and I feel like quite, quite a bit of the red got lost, but that was partly due to how I scooped. <laughs> pot spot. Gus is confused. Hey, should should I talk to him or would that be worse? Gus, go lay down, buddy. Just this is fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I I like the way that one turned out. There actually is quite a bit of white in it, 
I, I feel like I could have, like, it's a fine line between drawing too many squiggles and drawing not enough squiggles. I also want to retry, though. Like, how would a really long... Like, if I did that long, that's surely enough for, like, two fingers. Surely it is. Okay, white. You know what? I'm just going to... Red. Poible. Okay. Okay. So Ooh. See, we're not even like mostly done. We we still definitely would have. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Oh, look at that. We lost a lot of the white there. It was kind of that was a little bit of uneven application of the colors when I first put them down though. Of course I could even add in a little. And even like you were saying, like if I wanted to, I could put out a little bit of white. I could be like, man, wouldn't that be perfect if there was just a little bit of white? Oh no, see that's way too much. Have to would just be like a little tiny bit. I don't know if I really want to go there. Because I could get so, so nitpicky about it. Mm. <clears throat> oh no! <laughs> Don't abuse your bleach, Tay. I feel like these both come out pretty similar. This one ended up more purply and this one ended up more redly. If <laughs> that's not, you guys know what I mean. Um, but I think partly that's just due to like poli how the polish gets applied. Let me try one more with just like a wet, a fully wet base. It, it I think starting like this instead of like leaving little uh, open channels for the red and purple kind of leads to a little bit more color bleeding because they're already mixing together from the get-go oh that was kind of a lot of purple Ooh. Not as much white coming through this time. I think partly because I like glommed on a little bit much accidental purple. Like good designs though. Part of it too, like I said, it's like the scoop technique matters more than you might imagine. Might be a little bit easier to maintain consistency with the amount of polish if I go for the stripe sort of technique, I think. 
I got, you know what? I got room to do one more test on here. So I'm gonna, I'm kind of run, I'm running out of room to place my, my lid where you guys can see. It's kind of like off balanced to the side. All right, so we'll do one more stripey one. I think too, like the more white, like the white gets easily lost because it gets blended. Then all of a sudden you have pink or lavender instead of white. When I want like pink, lavender, and white. Oh, sneeze. Might be a sneeze coming. Whoa, that's a lot. That's lopsided. Oh well, it is what it is. Yeah, I like this a lot. Even though I'm getting quite a bit of variation. I like it. Oh, hey, a beanie pet. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. This pet's for you. How you doing? Okay. So, like, this one and this one were the same, like, wet base technique. And then this one and this one were the same three stripes of white and then one a red and purple. I feel like these are more consistent than this, like by a lot. And I think, like I said, that's just cause it's a little bit easier to control the polish. Um, when I'm, when I'm doing it, like, uh, <laughs> did he wink at the camera? Are you, are you squinty boy today? A little bit. Hi, buddy. Um, although that little that little swirl right there, I have to remember is uh, edited, shall we say, or enhanced performance enhancing polish. Yeah, I I really like how this is turning out. I really like the addition of the purple compared to like these are cool, but they're lacking like that something that's just like a little bit more interest or like depth the purple adds like a little bit of dark and just a little bit another another what is the word i don't know and make it more better how much have i used up messing around with this spot it was so full the other day it was overflowing i couldn't believe it because i was trying to combine two mostly what i thought were mostly empty but they were kind of hard to see and they turned out being fuller than i thought they were um, let's just put this over here. This is going to need somewhere nice to sit. And then I'm going to need like, maybe this nice clear one would be nice for the tutorial. Oh, the edge is broken. I guess that's fine. Woo woo. Um, I'll probably need more than one though for both hands. I guess, of course, both hands won't be on camera, but. Do I have another? Do I not have another large clear one this size? I thought I did. <sighs> I mean, I have another small clear one. Like a, a lid hoarder. Which lid would I like to use today? I'll keep this white one in reserve even though it's not quite as big <clears throat> so yeah I think we'll go 
with that. I think that'll be, I think that'll be cute. I think that'll be cute. And then <laughs> I have, I haven't edited the hearts yet. You guys editing makes me so sad. <laughs> Dope. I mean, ping, ping. penguin. Hey, angel. Yeah, I really like how these turned turned out. Now, of course, nothing is ever as simple on the nail as it is on paper. I'm so nervous. We're, I mean, we're going with this, but like, man, I hope I can get, I hope I can get that on my nails. Oh my God, look at my cuticles. Okay, cuticles. Wow. Wow. Um, I also don't want this anywhere where he's likely to. Is that? Okay. Let's give these cuticles a quick little hot second of attention. Hey, Bethlore. <laughs> the chicken noodle soup containers. Okay, number one. Definitely gonna have to switch out this acetone. Well, maybe not. I don't know. It's very this is this is what color the acetone is now from cleaning off my my brush. I guess maybe it's still fine for cleaning. I feel like I could just leave polish residue behind though. I'll probably switch it. What? Is this like a little peely spot or a little piece of polish it's a little piece of polish okay we're going to do a quick cuticle attention type of a situation and then we'll do the manicure well you are in the right place angel there will be just mellow chill conversation and beautiful flowing colors. That's what's up. And then, I don't know. So last night, I don't, I don't know how relaxing my voice currently is. I feel like it's like both hoarse and squeaky. I haven't actually like listened to a clip of myself with my voice like this. So I apologize if my, if my voice is harshing the mellow. But so last night, I thought I was going to finish up the room randomizer that I started on Sunday and we didn't <laughs> long story short we didn't we are after last night's stream 18 hours into the seed and we haven't found any of the shops and we just we haven't found any dreamers and we found like six or seven charms or something. Oh, hey, it's a beanie treat. The Bob Ross and Taylor. I love that. Yeah. We we found Grub Daddy and we found Seer. Yeah, you know the sound? You know this is the sound of treats? This treat from Bethlor? Right? Yes. <laughs> Good boy. Um, so yeah, and the map is coming along quite well. Like I feel like I, 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 there are some limitations in the drawing program, but overall, like it's very, it's very well suited to my needs for mapping. And I'm surprised how many people are interested in the map portion. So I'm kind of glad, like the fact that I can just, you know, pretty easily show it on stream. And the fact that um, I can search for things on it 
is uh, they're both really like very very pro to outweigh some of the cons and some of the cons like there are I'm sure there are solutions for I just need to learn them like somebody oh no I don't even remember who I who to give credit for somebody told me like I was complaining about not being able to scroll sideways and somebody was like shift hold shift shift in your scroll wheel and you can scroll sideways yeah and the thing is so the one plus is i have found sly so i'm not gonna find sly, find sly shop and have it be empty that is a thing that can happen in room rando if you find sly shop and you haven't found him in his little house yet his shop is just sitting there empty but once i i so i found his little house i freed him i have his shopkeeper's key I have all three of my nail arts. I'm ready to find Sly. I am so ready. Um, but we, we explored every transition on my map that could lead to a shop. And we still haven't found it. So we have to now return to the rest of the transitions. And hope that they lead to transitions that could lead to shops. I wonder, you know, somebody else said there were so many helpful people and I was so sleepy that I do not remember who said there are 498 rooms in the room rando. Wouldn't it be interesting if there was a way I could see other than just like counting, obviously, that would take a while, how many rooms I've added to my map. So I know, like, how many rooms are there still? I mean, I could tell you specific rooms where I haven't been. Particularly, like, boss rooms, because I haven't done that many boss fights. This break is growing out pretty well, by the way. Um, This is patched. It's kind of hard to tell. The break is right here, right now. So it's not, like, horrible, but it's not, like, super great either. You forgot to eat? No, I'm ex I'm expecting to find Sly shop and to have it be full of like rancid eggs and shit. Honestly, <laughs> like at this point, I've just been debated so hard. It's 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 a very strange feeling. Like I don't I don't feel salty about it at all. If I if it's if it's something that it's because I missed it at the beginning of the game, like oh, you never went up on this room. There's like three or four arrows that we made at the end of last night's stream or maybe I should say at the end of this morning stream since I think I cut stream at like 7 30 um that I made note I was like I should go back here and check this because it's a fairly early game transition that was never checked um I mean that's that's on me but there's I mean room rando I think being able to see me map things out I think gives people more of an understanding like even if they've never played like how complicated it is and the decisions that you have to make wait what are we making a grid and a dot wait what are we multiplying wait more. a grid and a dot wait how does it wait what how does a grid and a dot help you multiply? I'm so confused. This is a constant state of feeling for me, though. I feel sleep deprived, even though I'm not sleep deprived. That's what this current schedule is making me feel like. So I really... I'm, I'm going to figure out a way to just get my body clock on some other kind of schedule because I don't like this feeling. Um... I mean, why don't why don't you put some of the chocolate in the ice cream, son, or like on the side, like a, a small a smaller portion of both, or or a regular sized portion of both. Mm. Not that I would endorse such a thing. Not that I'm planning on making cookies after stream. Whether that actually happens will remain to be seen, obviously, because I planned on making cookies yesterday too, and that never happened. And I was sad about it when I was streaming. I was like, man, wish I made those cookies now. Mm. 
that, you know, son? Of course, why did I, why did I start doing it that way in the first place? You know, it's because of, uh, the way that it treats text in boxes or text inside of boxes instead of text in text boxes. Like it doesn't let you center it or move it around. I, maybe I could learn to work with that though, but cause sometimes I need to add other stuff in the room like return for item notes or internal doors. I think that's why I initially started using text boxes so that I could move the text around inside of the box to accommodate the stuff that goes, the other stuff that goes inside the box, like doors. But not even every room has doors. Hmm. Oh, to see how many rooms I found. I don't know if that would work, though. Like, as far as a grid over the map, because the rooms are all different sizes. And they're all different densities. Have you, have you, did you see it? You probably haven't seen it. If anybody would like to see the map that I'm talking about, you can exclamation point map. I'm doing it in Google Drawing, so anybody can look at it like in, in real time and in real size instead of just like the capture that I show on screen. I guess that's how people were known too when I was taking wrong turns. There's a couple people were probably in the map while I was trying to navigate by memory. They're like, nope, that's the wrong right. <laughs> oh, not on the map, just separate. Yeah, and I, I don't know that it really matters either how many rooms I've been to. It's like, I can never decide what room rando information matters and what room rando information is just like more information that I as an information hoarder want to include. But then sometimes I'm like, damn, I, sh I guess I should have included that. That was good information to have. Especially like we were talking about as far as unreachable transitions and why are they unreachable I definitely think the next I like I don't want to change what I'm doing mid map either but I'm constantly thinking about like the next map like what I would do differently and I think marking more specifically the rooms that are divided by themselves like the hallway room that also has a bench in the same room, but that you can't reach from the hallway. Um, stuff like that. Or stuff that's kind of like one way. Of course, some of that stuff changes. Then the question is, do you go back and change it once that's no longer true? Like there's a, quite a few like down transitions where you go through and you fall and you can't get back up if you don't have claw, which I don't. Um, so like for the moment, they're one way transitions, but they won't be one way transitions once I get claw. Yeah, no claw. I have uh dash I have shade cloak, which is, which is good. Um, I have wings and I have Isma's tear. I got Isma's tear maybe halfway through last night's stream because it took me that long to get it from grub daddy. It was, and it wasn't even that many grubs. I just like, I haven't been finding that many checks and a lot of the checks I've been finding are like, relics uh a snail gets so dry i mean just in comparison to all the other ones and you try to get in there and take care of it and it's just like you know what i will always be dry and there's nothing you can do to stop me <clears throat> so
so yeah, I'm I'm very curious to see like what the end result of this seed will be. I don't think like unless I go back to one of the very first transitions that I missed and like right directly behind it is a check that has claw. I'm I'm not going to feel too stupid. I think this is just a really dick seed. It's just super rude. Maybe I'm wrong though. But like the thing is, I've explored a lot. Even if even if everything I need is locked behind claw, like I don't know. If if I'd had claw, I still would have done a lot of the same exploration that I did, I guess is what I'm saying. It it would have opened up even more, but it's not like I wouldn't have done what I did. And in all this, we just, we still haven't found much at all. Well, we have a, one white fragment we have. And one white fragment we know the location of. And it requires claw. Um. <clears throat> it's at a dream tree. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I had dream nail pretty early too. I guess that's kind of progression. I don't really count it as progression, but because there was nothing absolutely needed at the seer. Who, by the way, I can't get back to. Oh man. I, I went to her through the dream nail transition and I can't get back there. Except apparently the game thinks that I can. So that's another mystery. Alright, we're almost done with cuticles here. Man, you'd think it's been like a month or something since I did my cuticles. When I'm pretty sure we did them on Saturday. Although I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, need the nipper for that. Mm. And of course, the usual disclaimer be very, very careful with the cuticle nipper. It's sharp and deadly. I try to just use it on little hangnaily areas rather than like cuticle trimming. Well, I do give in every now and then, especially in winter, but like trimming your cuticles just makes them like get buff. Snail seems odd. Just like an odd little There we go. I really feel like I should do something with the shape of this one. But I don't want to disturb the patch too much. And I don't want to take it as short as it would need to be to be completely straight. So I'm going to be indecisive and then just nothing is going to be done with it. <clears throat> so I got there through the dream nail sequence where you go and you hop on little small platforms and you get the dream nail in my case the dream nail pickup and it warps you back to the seer and then when I left her room the door took me into a room somewhere in dark deep nest I don't have dark rooms turned on in my logic so Although it was a dark room that I knew how to do, I didn't do it. I just bench warped out. So I can't get back to the seer until 
I number one, find the lantern. And number two, find whatever room connects up to that deep nest room that connects up to her. And the only reason I need to go back to her is to give her the essence to unlock the other door, except we discovered through cheaty means that I don't need to unlock that door. But the game thinks I can unlock that door. So, wait, I wonder if I should have done it. I wonder if the game thinks I can unlock that door because I can access it from the other side. Now that, now that I do know it, it, it I, I, cause I was worried. I was like, what if there's a shot behind this door? What if the game has, you know, made a mistake and it put the shot behind this door that I need to talk to the seer to open it. I can't come back to the seer cause I don't have a lantern and blah, 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 blah. blah. So I spoiler logged it. And I found out where it led, but I didn't go back and actually go through it. And I, you know, I'm going to look at that again later. I'm going to look at how, like how it's listed. I think it's listed under resting grounds transitions though. Not as, oh, whatever. That, that would kind of make sense though, as to why it says that it's available. Because if I, if the, the way like locked doors and stuff like that in Hollow Knight work in the randomizer is like, sometimes you actually do have to unlock them in order to get access somewhere. And sometimes you'll go through a transition and you'll like, say, for example, come out of a door that should be locked and it unlocks it because you came out of it. Which is cool, except then sometimes it's frustrating. Like later, if you find a key, you're like, oh, I found a key. And then you remember, you're like, oh, but I don't need this key anymore because I already opened the door. Like I came out of the Tower of Love, so I don't need to find the love key anymore. <clears throat> hey, Doubtful. Welcome. Lovely humans. <sighs> yeah, and I, I just, I was really frustrated with when I realized Cause I thought about it. I was like, well, I don't need to go back to the seer cause I don't need anything that she has. And then I realized after I left, like, oh, except she needs to open the door. Samuel, you don't know what's going on. What did you miss? Well, for anybody that just joined us, uh, we just been doing my cuticles. And the first part of the stream was mainly testing out some scoop marbly stuff. So we're gonna, we're gonna put that on, on my nails. That's what's going on. This this bottom one in particular with like this sweet fucking red purple combination with a little perfect amount of white and pink and lavender. Yeah, I'm really liking those guys. We gotta be really light, careful touch with the red, I think. Like the red tends to overwhelm everything else. I feel too like I wonder how much it would help if I did like white, purple, white, red, white instead of white, 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 red, purple. Do you know what I mean? As far as when I'm laying them down. Yes, five, five months. Thank you for the support. Um, I answered your question and I did not properly. Thank you. But thank you very much, Samuel. Yes, the original like inspiration was more like these upper ones, which is just a red, a white, and a pink. But I felt like they needed like something, and the purple is the something. Oh, these looks I I man. The thing is, okay, it's like it's such like, cause it's there's there's an organicness, there's a random nature to it, and there's that means that there's no guarantees. That means it might not turn out like that on my nails. And that's kind of scary. But we must move forward and onward and beeth not afraid. Because guess what? It's only nail polish. At the end of the day, if it all goes horribly wrong, we can take it off and start over and try again. <clears throat> and it is kind of Valentine's inspired, even though like I'm not big on Valentine's Day like <laughs> sums up my feelings on valentine's day 
I don't have a Valentine. I don't even have any like close other single friends that we could be like, oh, let's have Valentine's Day. Like, guess what I'm doing on Friday? Fucking same shit I do every week. I'm going to see my family. Maybe, I'll, maybe I'll come home and let vodka be my Valentine. If I do that, I'll turn on the stream. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Just giving this thumb a quick... Like, this thumb is weird shape, too. I think I broke the corner off of this thumb at some point. And it's just too hard to file thumbs on camera. And we're, and we're not, like, getting stuck filing a bunch of stuff anyway because our nails are weird, and I gotta decide if I really want to, like, cut them down before water marble merch I'd love if all the patches were grown out the thumb the thumb has failed a couple times I redid the thumb last time off stream the thumb break is grown out to right yeah actually you can just like barely see it it's like right here so I could almost maybe get away with cutting it off but I would have like zero nail I would have fresh baby naked nail tip exposed and that's uncomfortable so we're not doing that the index nail I could trim without having a little baby nail exposed but I don't want to yet because it would be really really short okay clean that out of there um I should probably excuse me I should probably take a bathroom break before we get started Oh my God. <clears throat> and drink some water. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's not where I got it, but I mean, I have to imagine that it's not unique. Buffering. Oh no. <laughs> Computer problems. Computer problems suck. At least I haven't been having computer problems on my cell phone lately. My new cell phone, okay, you guys, is so competent that I can actually watch multi-stream on my cell phone. I mean, it's pretty small. It's for, like, emergency situations only. <laughs> but, like, that's a hell yeah. And also stupid Valentine's Day. Are you doing something for battery day, son? Okay. Quick bathroom break. And then we're going to get started. Let me get you guys the music. Everybody's favorite music. Boy, has it been such a long time since we actually listened to Kevin McLeod's Unwritten Return. Is it possible? Um... All oh, they made up to have one more day off each year. I mean, it sounds good to me. Mm. I mean, there's different there's different brands of battery. You don't have to go. I mean, you could you could do Energizer. You could do Duracell. You could do what's what's that other one? Rayovac. <laughs> you could do whatever your company is because you do batteries. Yeah. And it was it was kind of interesting because like I, I was experimenting with the layouts and the one is kind of nice because it'll put them like right next to each other when you're holding it like long way. But you get basically like no chat. But if you turn it then the other way, then they're like kind of skinny next to each other, but you can see the chat. And then if you like go to chat, it'll like zoom in for you to, you know, whatever. So, yeah, it's not like it wouldn't it definitely would not be like my chosen uh, viewing experience, but is it's just nice to know that it does it. Twitch works fine on it. All the things so far that I normally want to use work fine on it. Some things are a little bit different and some things I don't like. It's like why did you why is this changed? Um but yeah, generally so far I like the phone. Black cats on it. You could do batteries throughout the ages. <laughs> I was going to say I don't think they have black cats on them anymore. Okay, you guys. I'm, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a potty break. And then we're going to get started. If you also need to take a... Whoa. 
Is this the right one? Yeah. You also need to take a potty break. Now would be a good time. Um, or maybe you need a snack break. Or maybe you need like a cannoli ice cream break. It's a good time for all those types of breaks. And if you're just going to hang around here, I'm going to let you listen to Kevin McLeod's Unwritten Return. Thank you for your patience.
the timing almost <laughs> bland cannoli ice cream <laughs> let me turn off my BRB okay sorry didn't leave you guys a very nice I bumped it on the way out and I knew I did but I didn't realize I made it that crooked oh man um that's maybe otherwise I'm gonna be pushing my sleeves up the whole time I should have worn long sleeves because it's kind of chilly in here Maybe I should bump this up. Oh, it's very windy out, which means it always gets chillier in my room. Mm. <clears throat> I had a laser beam. <laughs> Okay, I think we'll do a white base. We'll do peelies, of course. We'll do sesh feet, even though my sesh feet is getting very low and sad. We've got all these things we need here. We'll get a little bit of acetone out. Um. Yeah. Hey Google, what's the weather? Currently in Minneapolis, it's five degrees and clear. Tonight, it's predicted to be four and clear. Hey Google, what's the weather tomorrow? Tomorrow in Minneapolis, it'll be sunny with a high of two and a low of minus 12. <laughs> two. Mm. Yeah, basically. Okay, hold on just a sec. I need a couple more Q-tips. And I thought Beanie was coming back with me. Beanie, Beanie! But maybe not. Don't fall, please. Whatever I dislodged trying to get to my Q-tips. Beanie, Beanie! Well, that one's gone forever. <laughs> yeah, stupid wet so The one nice thing is, um, it actually got pretty warm a few days ago. So some of the, like, really weird, you know, snow slash sleet slash packed on snow combination that was all over like the sidewalks and the road kind of melted off before we get to this really stupid cold shit stick this up here whoa <clears throat> yeah 30s and 40s you gonna see people in shorts here in Minnesota I am not people in this case like that's just silly but there are some people just like oh it's so warm out now or people that are just like hot bodied just run around in 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 what appeared to be underdressed situations all winter i did give myself a quick little sh sugar scrub while i was downstairs too so my cuticles are actually looking like much nicer now. A little bit of attention, a little bit of sugar scrub, we're all good. Texas forever. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I mean, I, I like, I'm not, I'm not a fan of winter. What is going on here? You see this like line on my nail. I don't know what's going on with that. 
I like seasons. I'm not super fond of winter. I'd, I'd like to, you know, if I were going to move somewhere, move somewhere where there's like, you know, maybe two months of mild winter. <laughs> you know, from like a little shortly before Christmas to, you know, maybe February, Groundhog's Day. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. There. I think we are pretty, pretty much clean. Now, if it's a heated pool, I can actually get down with that. Because one of the times when I was in California and I went in the hotel pool, but it was like evening and it was pretty chilly, but then the hotel pool was like heated. Because I was like, I am getting in this hotel pool before I leave. And I was like, ooh, it's kind of cool. But then it was like, actually nice. What? Get out of there. Beanie. Beanie. Get in Beanie's chair. Get in Beanie's chair. Sir. Sir. Please leave that alone. Please, please leave that alone. Please, please step out of my nail supply box and get in Beanie's chair. Thanks. Can you, can you just settle and be a good boy? Please. Thanks. internal debate gift for what I've got one of my boxes of nail stuff on the floor and he just wants to step inside of it and smoosh things and then look inside of other boxes your face is dirty I'll clean it later when I don't have nail polish smells on my hands because I know you don't like those can you can you just settle down I feel like you're going to just get into things as soon as I turn around. I mean, he looks, he looks, he, he won't, he won't meet, okay, Beanie, he won't meet my eyes for more than a moment. Are you thinking naughty thoughts? Are you good boy or is you naughty boy? He's like, oh, what? Who are, oh, are you talk? are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Be good boy. <laughs> 16 inches of snow, yeah. That's a lot of snow. I mean, I don't even hate snow if I don't have to go anywhere. Hmm. <laughs> You're tired but want to do stuff. What kind of stuff? And what time do you have to be up tomorrow? Mm. Yeah. His eyes goopy. But I don't want to mess with it with acetone on my fingers. And polish soon to be on my fingers. Because he doesn't like the smell. Yep, that's the... I wonder if you guys can see if I do Big Bean. That's the one that's got the, the scar actually yeah see and it tends to make it a little goopy sometimes and when it gets goopy sometimes he gets squinty but he's okay he's okay beans aren't you yeah he's a good boy can you settle be a real good boy and not get into the closet when I start doing my nails <laughs> yeah yeah it's not like I don't know it, it's a little goopier than the other eye but it doesn't seem to be like an infected sort of goop you know what I mean he's not interested in it when I clean it out which you know like how cats are like if you pick a scab or something off of them and you're like hey look what i just picked off of you and they're like 
And then you're like, stop that. <laughs> I was just trying to show you so you could be grateful. And he like, he does not care at all. Like when I clean out his eyes, sometimes he'll be very tolerant. And he'll just sit there. Middle, right. Uh, uh, oxidation. Or I, I, that's the word I use for it. I don't know what else the word to use for it. It's when the patch gets weird when it's cleaned with acetone sometimes see now it's gone there's a patch here just to reinforce like this nail didn't break but it flexed and then it peeled and then it was like bendy and i was like mm, maybe we should try and um uh, just turn your back to everybody pooch um Maybe I should try to reinforce it so that it doesn't actually break off. We've also got, and there's like something stuck under it. It's not a break, but it's a little peely spot right there. And you see that little black part? I got like some polish under there and now I can't get it off. And I don't want to like peel it intentionally and I don't want to like mess with it too much, but this nail has like a fuzzy on it. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, it is, but it's like, it's slightly more than kitty eye boogers. And I think it's just because the, the scar is like a little rougher. So his eyes probably trying to like overly lubricate it to make it easier to blink about. Um, or blink, blink over. But I don't know. It's still healing. It's still got, like the last time I took him to the vet for it, they were like, well, you could see like part of the reason it looks like redder sometimes is there's like blood veins that have like grown in from the side of the eye to try and continue healing the eye and like healing the scar and so dr baker said as long as you can still see these like blood veins coming from the side it's still healing but it is probably going to be like a you know a scar it's probably never going to heal as clean as his other eye injuries have I feel like I have beanie fur like on my mouth. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I keep an eye on it. I try to keep it clean for him if it gets too goopy. And just keep an eye on if it seems to be like bothering him. <laughs> I mean, kind of. Ear boogers. That's as good of a name as any. <clears throat> All right, you guys. Do we have a YouTube voice in us today? <clears throat> starting out with clean dry nails we're going to begin with the base coat today i'm using holly talk holly blah, 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 blah. we do have a youtube voice we just don't have a youtube tongue apparently Yeah, he's he's been healing an eye injury for it was like right after I got back from California, so like September. He he I looked at him and he had one eyeball tight and one eyeball huge. And I was like, Well that's not normal. And took him into I had to take him into the emergency vet because of course it's fucking like a Saturday afternoon. <clears throat> Alright, let's try that again. Hello Taco. Not Holly Taco. That's Dr. Crotron's stripper name. <laughs> Starting off with clean dry nails, we're going to begin with a base coat. Today I'm using Holo Taco Peely Base, and you can use whichever you prefer. Keep it fairly thin. Keep it away pretty much from the edges so that we can get a good seal with the other polish and with the top coat. And I missed, Gidge, if you said what kind of things you wanted to do. Up there in all the kitty eye booger talk. <laughs> mm 
yeah ears i usually just oh that was weird we got a little weird thing around the lid or around the rim of the like the neck of the polish it was like a little polish booger um I used to have to clean Frisky's ears sometimes. Beanies don't seem to get that dirty. Sometimes I'll do Clark's for them too. And I just kind of take like a tissue, like a Kleenex, and like kind of wad it up loosely in a cone kind of a shape and then just like get it in there and just kind of like murmur, murmur. And then the animal's like, you know, and then do that a couple times and it seems to work pretty good for them. But they don't have like a lot going on. And Beanie's ears just seem to stay clean whenever I do. It's like, do it just to see. Hey, Stingfinity. Classic polish. I mean, at the moment, but also not really. Because this is, in fact, a peel-off base coat, which I have to imagine I'm in the minority of people in using. But how else are we supposed to save all of our nail art? Um, well, oh, ear cleaning. Like, beanies, whenever I clean them, just seems like nothing really comes out. They're just already clean. So, I don't know. He's, he's a generally pretty good boy, so I don't mind helping him out a little bit. Although, I just, I really wish that the eye would heal faster, but there's not really... You can't, can't just make it heal, unfortunately. <clears throat> oh, practice radiance. I mean, so the thing is, it's, it's, it's all the mindset gauge. Where, camera please. Um, let this dry for a minute. Like you can, you could have a mellow practice stream. If you rage, it's not going to be very mellow. Okay, I'm going to tell you something. As a streamer, you always think whatever you're doing is boring, or at least I do. And as a viewer, it's not boring. As a viewer, you possibly even see, like, the improvement and the changes more than the streamer does. I know, I know people watched my first time fighting Radiance at the end of my casual took me over five hours over two different streams mm. I do not clean Bean's teeth they don't seem to get too dirty I look in there sometimes I mean he doesn't get very much wet he gets dry food so I wonder if they make those little greeny type of things for cats if he would enjoy those Yeah. Yeah, if it gets to be, yeah, like, super goopy. Oh, my natural nail. Oh, like acrylics or whatever. Yeah. No, I've never been into, like... I mean, every now and then, I have to admit, they're not, like, fully natural. We got a couple breaks here that are, that are patched with gel. But, yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. A Pierce Tamagotchi. <laughs> Sounds like something Nail Sunny would do. <laughs> and all, I mean, all, also, uh, what what is it? Uh, laughing but seriously, face cam makes a more interesting gadget. I'm just saying, because people get to see your reactions. Don't think of it as showing your face. Think of it as showing your reactions. That's how I get over it. Because it's like, I mean, fucking the camera, like please no um but I, I always knew that if i streamed i would try to have a face cam confirmed clit is not born can't speak for gidge wow samuel <laughs> yeah no such thing have you looked around twitch gidge <clears throat> okay no pressure i'm just saying you're, I'm I'm assuming you're as wrong about that as you are about your assessment of most of your skills. So, 
take that as you will. I I hate I honestly I I the idea of like face I mean you can look and see I think that we were at least mm, I wish I could say I think it was either the black white and pink or the extreme green water marble was the first YouTube video where I showed my face so I mean I went a couple years on YouTube before I ever showed my face and even then it was like a very rare occurrence and I hate cameras and I hate having my pictures the pogo up and oh nice that I hate that pogo I actually hate that pogo gauge it's a it's a pain in the butt it's one of it's one of my not favorite ones okay let's do so this is this is white tips the purple is Landon and the red is going to be Renee. Okay, let's move along. We're, uh, yeah, our base is fully dry. Well, mostly dry. Dry enough. <clears throat> For today's manicure, I'm going to be using a couple different brands. The colors are from Zoya. The red is Renee and the purple is Landon. And then the white, oh, I like can't even pick it up. I can't even pick it up and get a clean take here. <laughs> mm. It's, you know, it's kind of surprising. You're kind of seeing like the very edges of the paper towel. It's only like a half sheet of paper towel. I mean, my hands are pretty big. <laughs> Okay, let's let's try that again. Take two. <clears throat> the colors that I'll be using today are from a couple of different brands. The red is Renee from Zoya, and the purple is also from Zoya. This is Landon, and then the white, which I'll also be using as my base color, is Orly White Tips. You're going to be up until 1 a.m. Wait a minute. What time is it? 9.59. Are you doing something complicated, Amethyst? Or are you just doing like a manicure? You don't have to be up till 1 a.m. for a manicure. It'll be okay. Now, I want to have a base like just in case we have any spots where the scoop marble doesn't want to go all the way to the sides but I'm not sure if it really matters if it's fully opaque if I should do one or two coats <clears throat> Ooh, black with red tips I mean that could even come off as kind of anti Valentine's Day Screw Valentine's Day, man. <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right. I just keep knocking into things. I'm so clumsy today. Oh, wait, the one up to there. I thought you meant the one in there, up to there. I th <laughs> That didn't make any sense, I know, Gidge. I was thinking of the other one once you're already in there. If you go in there without... Uh, without wings. Purple entered the equation during the testing, Gidge. Didn't you see the testing? Were you possibly not paying attention along with the rest of the class? I'll show you in a sec. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I, I've always said it orally. I've seen people pronounce it differently. Oh, I wonder if forcing my YouTube voice is absolutely horrible for my vocal cords. I mean, I feel like it sounds better, so why would it, like, be bad for my voice? But then on the other hand, it's like, I don't know. 
What do I know about vocal cords? Mm. Oh, using regular polish with gels. So you got to make sure you're super dry. I mean, you could you could switch your plan. Maybe it's too late to switch plans. I have to admit, whenever I use regular polish with gel, I feel like I'm really pushing it. So, Gidge, I know that you really, really liked the the red testing, but, I mean, the purple just makes it OP. The purple added in is way better than just with the red and pink. We took out the pink and we added purple instead. It's better. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck Valentine's Day. Yeah. Yeah, thumbs are tricky. I usually kind of do like that and try to remember to keep my nails curved and not let them like relax down onto the paper towel. My hands feel a little shaky today too. It's okay though. That will add interest to the marble. <clears throat> Valentine's, then White Day, then Black Day. Well, what? wait, what are White and Black Day? Wait, giving gifts. White Day is boys, and Black Day is when singles go out to eat black bean noodles and meet other singles. I mean... I, yeah, I'm... I'm why do the singles have to come last? No, I mean, but really, though. <laughs> No, because the test. Well, that does, I'm not saying to abandon it, but I'm saying if you don't want to be up until 1 a.m. <clears throat> I think Valentine's Day is for people that don't know how to remember their anniversary, so it's a it's a a group holiday that they'll get reminders of, like when they go in the store, and they'll be like, "Oh yeah, it's Valentine's Day." <laughs> yes there is some delicious valentine's candy out there i will agree with you on that all right we'll do a second coat because why not have a nice solid base okay hands please behave sometimes i feel like how shaky I am depends on how long ago I took my meds and because I got up so late it wasn't that long ago that I took them so that may be contributing it'll be fine though like I said we don't need steady hands for the marble portion Oh, I hate this nail right now. I'm probably going to end up cutting everything down, I think. Because it would bug me to have it. The only short nail on the hand. Okay. White tips is such a nice white. Until we get our one coat white from Hollow Taco. <laughs> I saw, I think it was maybe on Twitter, and Christine was like, pretty much everything that you guys want from us is coming. You just have to be patient. But I would really like to know how much longer I have to be patient for. Also, if anybody's been waiting for... Uh, flaky hollow taco to come back in stock it's coming back in stock on friday if you didn't already receive your notifications or reminders that corner is really doing something weird mm.
an excuse to make a date night, yeah. I'm falling a little bit behind on check. Give me just a second to finish this hand. Whoa. Yeah, it's kind of uneven, but it doesn't matter. This is just a base color. Okay. And the thumb. Whole little right thumb. Oh, my wind, my my blind or my curtain is not open. I can hear the wind out there. <clears throat> Luke, hi Luke. Um. In a roundabout sort of fashion, kind of, yeah, we haven't gotten to flowers yet. We were mostly talking about candy. And you like all the options. I mean, that's the dream, right? Not any nasty ones that you gotta, like, find somebody likes. Yeah, I don't know. I've been single for a pretty long time. <laughs> if you're gonna give flowers give like give like an actual flower plant not just like a bouquet give like a plant how you doing Luke how's how's Jerry doing did he finish his did he did he finish up his homework I saw like a little bit before I was going live that he was saying he was gonna hop on a little bit again <clears throat> <clears throat> I should change this. I don't think I can change it to be what I really want, but the automatic lens off. <clears throat> also, every time I think of flowers lately, I am reminded of the fact that I pressed and dried some flowers from the garden, like back when it was flowers in the garden in summertime, and I never did anything with them, and I don't know if I even ever checked up on them. They're like still down getting pressed in a book. <clears throat> yeah fl I mean I'm not anti bouquets because flowers can only be enjoyed so much like out in the yard but I mean like traditional bouquets well, you guys know the kind of bouquets that I like to bring in in the summertime you know like a whole bunch of uh, peonies or stargazer lilies or something like that something with scent too I really like Gidge, I have never heard you say anything positive about yourself. I don't think you would kill a plant. And cats are smarter than you give them credit for. Isn't that right, Beanie? Beanie, Beanie. We had a poinsettia in for around the holidays. And, I mean, those are toxic. But it's not like Beanie was over there like, let me eat this. He left it alone. Ate and watched a movie on Netflix. Okay, it's fine. Thought I nicked it. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I did a uh, I did a calla lily, calla lily cross stitch one time. I loved how it turned out. That was really pretty. I never I never framed it or anything though. It was cool because it was on a like a black a black fabric with like the you know the white lilies and like the green leaves and stuff. the gauge around your tree of course i grow beanie his own grass to snack on so he doesn't have any reason to mess with the other plants he loves his grass um this is pretty clean i don't think i need to clean it off extra and it's big enough that we should be able to do like quite a bit on it <laughs> Sam, <laughs> the horse girl film what Not enough aliens. Yeah, I saw the flower, the calla lily. I like, I like calla lily. I don't know that I've ever had an actual calla lily. <clears throat> yeah, that does sound like a dumb title. I don't, I don't, I'm, 
I feel like I've heard it multiple times and I still don't know like what movie it actually is. Excuse me. Okay, so are we going to be able to get a good Yeah, this should be fine. We can do kind of something like that. It'll be fine. <sighs> the nerves, you guys. Okay. It's time. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> so, for this scoop marble, I have a plastic lid that I'll be applying the polish on. I've got an orange stick to do the initial swirl and a kind of medium-sized flat brush that I'll be doing the scooping with. I'm going to start out with several lines of the white so that I can kind of get that applied without worrying about getting a dirty brush back in the bottle if I have the other colors out yet. So I'm going to make these a little bit on the longer side so that I can do probably two to three nails on a single pool of polish. So there's the white. Then I'm going to add in the red and purple in the gaps that I left behind. So add in some red and add in some purple. Then with the orange stick, I'm going to go ahead and give that kind of a moderate swirling. And then I'm going to start scooping it up and swirling it onto my nails carefully. And if you get a little messy, of course, you can clean up afterwards and just continue scooping. This one is going to be very red. Like that one doesn't have barely any purple on it. And that one has a ton of purple on it. Maybe I can add in a little bit more purple on the side here. Like that. Oh yeah, I'm going to add in a little bit more red to this one. Toward the tip. Hmm. A little bit more purple. All right, that's what we got, you guys, for our first couple. I think I want to add just a smidgen of white on the tip of that one. I don't, I don't want to like over overthink it, because you guys know I'm a pro at that. I do want to make sure that there's not little gaps like that at the edges can you guys see like where I'm filling in you probably can't at some points because it's like not a very good angle but of course if we do have gaps it's not a huge deal because we have a base color and I'm trying to keep this hand mostly level also since it is like a thicker layer I don't want it um, sliding all around. I wish I had more purple on the pinky. I don't want to mess with it too much though. I don't want to, I don't want to get overly obsessive and I don't want to get it like really, 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 really thick. Okay. 
<laughs> Battery is blinking at me. All right. I'm gonna start like that. Whoa, the white just tipped over. We will have a couple moments of which to rectify that. There we go. Whoa. Dribbling. It's fine though. Whoa, that's a lot. Whoa, that's a lot. Mm. Can I like kind of just pull this down like that? Yeah. And then Whoa. Blobular. Add a little bit more like along the side here. I feel like hmm? See now these two almost make the uh, the ring finger look like it's got too much white. Okay. This one is a little short of purple too, but it's fine. It is you know, a Valentine's inspired design. Let's give this a minute. I'm fairly happy with that. Yeah. Can clean up some of this with the orange stick stuff that's more like flooding a little bit then we'll go in once it's kind of settled with our cleanup brush yeah yeah okay whoa <clears throat> <laughs> I don't know, son. <clears throat> Bay, it's I I don't like kind of like baby, kind of like babe, kind of like why why does this have like a bubble in it? Um, I'm going to try and get away with cleanup before I switch the battery. <clears throat> You'll probably make a little bit of a mess. You can scoop up anything that's super wet and flooding the edges with an orange stick as you go along like I did. And then once you're Okay, I'm not going to do cleanup before I change the battery, apparently, because the battery needs to be changed right fucking now. <laughs> Yeet! Alright. So, we've got one dry hand and one not dry hand. Okay. We're just going to be very careful, very careful 
Very careful. Bye, Benny. Fine then. Take out the old battery. Come on, little door. Okay. Put in the new battery. I couldn't remember. The reason I didn't start with the fresh battery is because I couldn't remember last stream when we changed the battery. I couldn't remember if it was like mostly full or like half full or like almost empty. Okay. So. I touched it. Fuck. It's okay. It was somewhere on this nail. Like on the corner, I think. I can't even fully see where it was. So I'm not going to worry about it, but shit. That could have been bad. That could have been very, very bad. Okay. Back on here. Sorry for the wiggles. Can you... There. What? And there we go. <clears throat> okay put that battery to charge just in case yeah I feel like I'm already at the age where slang is passing me by I just use whatever old slang I want to use old lady I can use old slang if I want to <clears throat> I've never seen it's a wonderful life I've never seen white Christmas I don't know that I've ever seen die hard one all the way through <laughs> I'm just so bad I just I don't know movies whatever <clears throat> all right let's try this again You can use your orange stick on any overflow or flooding around your sidewalls as you go. And then once you're done, you can use your normal cleanup brush on what's left. Should I have said with acetone? Doesn't everybody know that by now? I still probably should have said it. And then once we do this, I think it'll be set enough that we can do my other hand. Um, and then once I clean that up, I'll probably do the thumbs together, even though that's a little bit risky. Got to be careful when cleaning up red and white designs to not like clean around a white area with too much uh, like dirty acetone. Or you actually can end up tinting it pink like from the red cleanup. Yeah, I'm still not exactly sure where that dot of polish on my my camera mount came from <clears throat> boy the voice is really not too happy with me yeah I've got some red down in there red can be so difficult to clean up I mean even when you're not dealing with white also just because it can stain and like really get in your cuticles
What? No. No. Beanie. Beanie. The fuck are you doing? Get out of there and get in your chair, please. Yeah, get in your chair. You can kind of see like, yeah, down there in the middle finger cuticle. I should have been more careful. The uh, ring fingers almost ended up looking like an accent. It's more white and it's more purple. This is really nice though. Where'd he go? He left. He didn't go in the closet. He also didn't get in his chair. I don't know where he went to. Mm. <laughs> Oh, that would be funny. I Even I can say that would be fr funny and I don't even know anything about friends. Oh, there you are. You want to get in your chair, sir? They chose what was on TV. I think those turned out pretty cool. Do I wish there was a little bit more consistency? Well, of course I do. Cause you know, how much we can, we can record this part too. Whoa. Nudged a bottle. Careful. Okay, this is gonna be, oh gosh. This is gonna be for my right hand and I just realized that I have not practiced scooping left-handed at all during any of our testing at any point. So this could be interesting. This could be bad. Hopefully it's not bad, hopefully it's fine. But it, it could be bad, I'm just, I'm just warning you just warning you. Beanie, I'm warning you, boy, if you don't get out of that motherfucking closet, there's not much I could do about it because my nails are wet. <laughs> oh man, Beanie, please. Okay. Fucking A. Mm. What? Ooh. Um. I, I can see a little white bare naked spot. I feel like oh that's so messy. We'll we'll do this other nail and then we'll maybe come back to you. Whoa. I'm not getting super great scoops off of the lid. Well, that one was actually kind of good. Ooh, ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. <gasps> okay, it's fine. Nudged a bottle again. Um, okay. Need to just, like, right around these edges, kind of like that. And then, what the hell? I literally just 
mashed it into the side of the thing, but I can't see where where I did it. I, I'm just going to like add that in like a little beanie. Oh, I don't like this pinky at all. We're leaving it alone. We're leaving both of them alone. I've got a lot of leftover color here, but I don't like the design that it's made. Beanie, get out of there. Beanie, beanie. Hey, get out of there, get in your chair. Thank you, sir. Okay, we're, we're just, we're gonna go with those. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, we're going to do this again. I went down a little shorter because I think if I need more I can maybe use the leftovers from the other one. Oh that one doesn't even feel as thick. I didn't lose as much. Fuck. Okay. The the scoop. The the scooping technique is so poor. Left handed. I'm just I'm not getting a lot of good stuff to work with here. Oh, I suck. Maybe like this? Ooh. <gasps> Shit. It's fine. Mostly. Ooh, that's really good. Scoop. Why is that one so ugly? There. Ish. Oh, I don't know about this. Drag it down there. Drag it over there. We got a big old blob there. Uh. Uh. That's where I knocked into it. It's okay. I feel like I did a much, much messier job on the right hand. I mean, which is unsurprising. And I didn't end up getting as much white, I think, because of the way I was scooping. Like, the right hand is much more intensely red than the left. Most of them. The pinky got very pink and, and lavender. 
Like this one compared to this one. Yeah, they really flooded a lot. Kind of too, I think, because I was trying to glom on more and get a more of a better pattern. Because, like, my first pass didn't result in good patterns. <clears throat> okay. Hi, Tex. <clears throat> okay see like I obviously knocked into that one I made a mess of it but you can't even you can't see really where where actually that came from so I mean I guess that's good it's just a secret mistake just between you and me and you know Nope, nobody on YouTube will ever know, except for the people that watch this archive on YouTube. <laughs> mm. I, I wish, well, whatever. If wishes were fishes, <clears throat> we'd walk on the sea. That's what would happen. That's that's how many wishes and how many fishes there would be, you guys. Okay. I feel like even cleaning up left-handed today, I'm just a klutz. And my hands are kind of shaky. The tremors of age. I think my asthma meds do it, and I think my blood pressure meds do it, which are both kind of important, you know, things to keep under control. Emily? Who's Emily? Probably exposes how little friends that I've ever watched if I don't know who Emily is. But I don't. Yeah, Friends or Seinfeld. I never really watched because they were kind of the same. Were they the same era of uh, must-see TV? Okay. Cuticle neatness. And then we'll do our thumbs. Which we should, I mean, we should just be able to do with like one more spot of polish. I think doing multiple nails off of one spot was a good idea. I feel like it at least, you know what I might even do like the next time I do that though? Is like alternate which nails I'm doing so that like instead of pinky and ring finger and then middle finger and index finger like do the pinky and the middle finger and the ring finger and the index finger because the ones done from the same spot of polish do have some like these two are obviously very consistent with each other I feel like these two are also very consistent with each other and they don't exactly look 
I don't, I don't know what I want to say, like matchy matchy, but it might help to balance the entire manicure more if they weren't directly next to each other. I'll never remember that, by the way. Feel free to remind me. Next time I do a, a scoop marble. Or even do like an even longer fucking line and just do like all four of my of my main nails together like I said because of the thickness I don't think I really would want to do the thumbs at the same time because like when you first do them if you are like holding imagine you're holding a brush or whatever and your nails are in this position it's gonna you know you're gonna have it, it's gonna be noticeable so I like to give them you know just a few minutes to settle and set like they settle into like a thinner layer and then they set so that they're no longer just so so liquid and drippy droopy oh we've got quite a bit under the edge of this nail here can i oops there that's better so do you guys have a favorite nail yet gidge is probably like the ones that don't have very much purple which would probably be these two probably the i'm gonna guess this one is gidge's favorite one because you can't even barely see the purple we've got some good shapes going on here i really like this ring finger and this middle finger pinky is probably my least favorite this pinky and this pinky they're both janky they're so small too it's hard to you know even them though like at the base of this pinky or like toward the cuticle like there's actually some really cool come on camera some really cool like swirly parts like i said the hand the hand tremor came in handy oh fraser i liked fraser but i did i didn't like watch it it was something that like if i caught it on tv it was like oh hey fraser but I couldn't tell you like what time and station it came on. Okay, let's just, we're just gonna go in the middle here for the thumbs, what the hell? I don't wanna get out a whole nother lid. We're just gonna go right, right in here for it. All right. And the purple. Whoops, that was a sloppy insertion. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay. Um, we're gonna we're gonna do polo right thumb first. Oh, poor little right thumb. This is beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> and we'll just kind of get those edges a little bit. Oh, that's pretty good. I can be happy with that. Okay, now quickly do this. Whoa, that was a weird, dumb s decision of how to pick that up. Wow, we got a lot of white on there. Not happy with that. Whoa, I just flung polish that I might have needed. Oh, I just did a gouge with the way that I'm gripping this brush. Um, I actually like polo right thumb better. We got some more interesting stuff going on. That first 
scoop for left thumb it was a really dumb scoop. Can I get like, no, we're, we're pretty much done here. There's not enough left to, and we ended up very pastel. When I was gripping the, the brush, I was gripping it like this, and then I accidentally like mashed it into this nail. Hmm. I think, hold on. Like a tiny, tiny bit of acetone. And just put it in there and let it melt a little bit and then evaporate. I think that was good. And then maybe just like a tiny bit of polish from here. You know what? Let me just go right in here. It's a red spot that's missing. There. Okay. Don't overdo it. Oh, don't knock over polish. Okay. You know, this one isn't bad. It's just a little bit too pastel. And it's because I got, I, I did a bad scoop. Like, the, the scoop is vital. The scoop is like make or break moment. People say you act like Sheldon. Wait, is that, that's a big bang, yeah? That's, I guess that's a funny show. I don't, I don't get what the big deal is about it. It's not like, oh my God, this show is the best show. But I suppose every show is somebody's favorite show. Well, maybe not every show, but probably most shows. I mean, I, if I were to like, like, what is your favorite show? Like, I don't even know if I could pick a favorite show. You know, I'm just not... I, I don't, I'm not very good at picking favorites in general, though. Like, I couldn't tell you, like, my favorite musical artist or my favorite author. Like, if pressed, I could maybe give you, like, a top five or a top ten author or musician list. But, like, it would be really hard. Like, I like a lot of stuff. If you ask me, like, head to head, well, do you like such and such better than such and such? I could probably be like, well, yeah. But even that changes. And like your author, I feel like your favorite author should be whoever you're currently reading. Like you should be enjoying the book that you're reading at the moment so much. It's like, man, this is my fucking favorite author right now. And if you're like, if you're not that hype about the book, why are you even reading it? I miss reading. I think that is one thing that I've really like sacrificed with the time that I put into streaming. And I want to find a way to like incorporate it back in to my life. Like I, man, like there's series that I love and it's like, man, I've got like multiple books in this series waiting for me where before it was like, man, do you know this book releases on Tuesday? That's what day books come out in case you didn't know it was fucking on Tuesdays. Like, man, I hope I'm gonna be able to get that book. I'm missing so much chat, by the way, also. I'm glad that you guys are chatting amongst yourself. I apologize that I'm not keeping up. But also, you're mostly talking about TV shows that I haven't seen, so I probably don't have much to add. I mean, and it's not like, what TV show is that? I mean, like, I'm aware. I'm aware of, like, the 70s show and whatever, and I've probably caught an episode here and there, but... I think part of it is, like, for a long time, especially, like, if you go older shows like you know from my childhood like I didn't have like you know like Luke was saying I didn't get to choose what was on TV <laughs> I didn't I didn't have my own TV accessible to just like watch whatever the hell I wanted to watch you know as a kid like if my dad was in control of the TV it was probably almost 
undeniably sports, which I literally don't give a fuck about at all. Sports, meh. Reading is fundamental. Reading is fun. It used to be like when I had an office job, it was really easy. Even if whole rest of my day or whatever was busy, I had breaks and I had lunch and I took them. Even once I went salaried, like I made a point, you're not catching me at my desk during lunch. I'm going to sit down and eat my lunch and read my fucking book. So I had at least an hour a day that was book reading time. And I think my heaviest reading year, I want to say I read 150 books in a year. Or something close to that. It was like under, over 100, I know for sure. Like more than two books a week. Like I read a lot. And it's so funny because people are like, well, you're reading a book? We're like, yeah, I'm reading a book. It's enjoyable. You should try it sometime. But now it's like, there's always something else to do that feels like it would be more productive. And I always feel like I ought to be doing something productive. Even if I'm just sitting there and not being productive, I'm like thinking about how I should be productive. And instead of just accepting the fact that I'm not productive at the moment, maybe you should take a moment of leisure. I just sit there and worry about being productive. Anyone else relate? Just me. Um... <clears throat> What you gonna make for dinner, Gidge? You better hurry up. You gotta you gotta cook and start streaming Radiance practice so that I can host you once I get done here in a minute after Top Coat. Yeah, Cosby Show was something that we would watch as a family. Um, in Living Color, yeah. Oh my god, that was so good. Um, I'm trying to remember what else. Like I what shows do I actually remember from childhood? Like, not a lot. Like, some cartoons. Like, maybe if I got home after school, maybe I'd be able to squeak in some cartoons every now and then. I remember always being frustrated in the morning. Like, having to get ready. And by the time, you know, like, even if I got ready, like, a little bit early and had a minute to sit down and watch a cartoon, but then you couldn't watch the whole cartoon because you had to leave, like, you know, quarter till or quarter after to go get the goddamn bus. So you're always missing half of the show. Ah, childhood problems. And your biggest problem was missing the second half of gym. Mm. Okay. Okay, what are you eating? I want to know what you're having for dinner also, because I have to have dinner after this. Martin, my aunt. Okay, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Hell yeah, we watched some art. <laughs> yeah, if you if you name some things, I'm sure I could think some things. But again, like, I don't recall it being, like, necessarily, like, me being like, oh, it's time for such and such. You know, there, there are things that were on on more regular of a basis, but I guess I've never been, like, a huge, gigantic TV fan. Even as a kid, I was a big reader. I remember when we would go to the swimming pool in the summertime and we'd be there all day, but the swimming pool closed for like an hour for the lifeguards to go have dinner. And so there was a library next door. And so we would pack a lunch or a dinner, go swim all afternoon, go to the library while the pool was closed and get books and then go eat our dinner and read books in the park until the pool opened up again. <laughs> I'm it's fine I'm just it's it's like I would compare it to I'm just letting you know it's of course your choice it's everybody's personal choice as a streamer you have to be comfortable with what you're doing but it's one of those things I mean do you feel like people stare at you in everyday life Gidge you know people don't really care that much what you look like and you don't have an accurate vision of what you look like yourself anyway, ever, anybody, I don't think. <clears throat> Tennessee tuxedo, I've never even heard of that. <laughs> Is eating ASMR toss? There's ASMR, and I'm pretty sure there's mukbangs 
you do a mukbang and you tag it ASMR, are you violating the toss? I don't know. <laughs> Sting. <laughs> in my day, we had to turn up the candle in order to see the television. The television was merely a slide backlit by another candle. <laughs> mm. And I missed what Gidge was having. You still you didn't answer my question about whether people stare and point at you in public, Gidge. If people okay, if people don't stare and point at you in public, people ain't gonna stare and point at you on Twitch either. Mm. Yeah, what food? What? But what food are you getting though? Double Dare, hell yeah, Nickelodeon. If I did have control of the television, I would just put it on Nickelodeon as a go-to. Like I didn't know enough to know what was on, but usually there was something good on Nickelodeon. Double Dare, all that shit. And also, I have very clear memories of staying at my grandparents' house where there was a TV available that like I could like watch. Not like all the time. But I remember looking in the paper TV guide and looking up, because this little TV was just like regular channels, like not cable, looking up what time Bob Ross came on on channel two. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Butalodian. Yeah. Yeah. Ren and Stimpy. Cause my mom liked to watch that. That was that was her show. <clears throat> Nick at night. A horse is a horse, of course, of course, unless the horse is Mr. Ed. It doesn't code quite like that, but yeah, Mr. Ed. Like <laughs> the idea of a talking horse was fascinating. But even as a kid, I remember kind of being like, "That horse ain't talking." <laughs> like it was like. I, I don't know that that show was funny I recall that show being like in, in, in tr extremely entertaining for me mm. Mm. <laughs> baby shows <laughs> wait what what kind of baby shows like little like actually like intended for baby shows I've got like two half full bottles of sesh feet this one's kind of thick. I'm going to use this one. I wish it was fuller, but I didn't want to fill it because I didn't want to put bubbles in it right before I used it. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. I remember I eventually got like a little, I mean, you know, <laughs> type of a TV. <laughs> You gotta like adjust, the, you know. <clears throat> Blues Clues. I see. I don't know about no Gullah Gullah Island. I know about Blue 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 it went on very thick and uh if we were to go with this with any kind of force we could easily like gouge it or smear it um but i think it like like this is something i'm even more cautious with top coating um this type of like a scoop marble than i would be with like uh stamping because with stamping it's not really super wet if you smear it it's because you're like too heavy-handed with it this it's so wet that if you try to top coat it early i mean like sesh feet is technically designed to go over wet polish but if you try to apply it while well, it's too thick like even if you're trying to um to float it on like just the force of the polish itself is enough to like shift this and i'm actually very pleased with how level these are looking like scoop marbles can get very lumpy especially like the ones where i maybe went over it couple couple layers and we're really yeah that's actually good these like little profile shots like we're not lumpy or anything <clears throat> 
Can Chef Boyardee... Oh, I was going to say microwave ravioli doesn't have to be bad, but... I mean, Chef Boyardee is kind of an acquired taste. I like... I, I like... Uh, of course, I don't know if you have that. And I was going to say, I recommend. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, Gidges in Canada. They probably don't have it. <laughs> Amy's frozen dinners, like, they're actually not horrible for a frozen dinner. I can't be like, oh, they're really good. But, like, they're, you know, when you got to microwave some shit. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we had cable as a kid. I just didn't have cable in my room. And I remember it was like back in the day before the boxes were like really high tech. And so we got HBO, even though we didn't pay for HBO, it just came in like a little bit fuzzy. <laughs> and I remember, I remember when cable had A and B stations. How old are you? Do you remember cable A and B stations? <laughs> like that's completely a thing of the past now. Hey, Crit. Enjoy your lurk. Eating leftover chicken hamburger. Yeah, Amy's are... The enchiladas, dude. And and it's and it's vegetarian stuff, but guess what? Like, get some, get some meat sticks. Grab you a meat stick on the side. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, I'm not even... I'm just, you know, whatever. <laughs> mm. 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 okay we're gonna top coat which is everybody's favorite part and it's gonna make this all like i said it's pretty even anyway but it's gonna just it's gonna just really smooth everything out you know it's really very smooth i always use kind of on camera how smooth the reflection is to judge how smooth it is this is pretty good i'm pretty you know i'm pleased with this there I said it <clears throat> finally we're going to finish everything off with a top coat and as usual I'm using sesh feet and if anybody is like new here and they're like what the hell is with that change in voice that's the tutorial voice that's a that's serious Colette who lives on YouTube and this tutorial will in fact hopefully <laughs> I'm thinking okay I'm thinking I need to do like a shit ton of editing tonight I'm thinking I need to put the foil hearts up tomorrow and I'm thinking that this needs to go up on Friday because Friday is Valentine's Day gaming wallocks thank you for the follow Man, this sesh feed is really very nearly empty. I mean, it's not like really nearly empty, but it's like half full. It just makes it hard to get like a goodly amount of polish on there. Mm, just sealing it all in with the glossy goodness. Even this little weirdo looking nail. The places where it really does need smoothing out is some of the places where at the edges or on a couple of these nails even in the middle of the nail where I didn't quite cover the whole thing with uh, with marble design but that's where the base color comes in but I did notice a few spots where I was like oh hey Man, this one turned out so pink and purple. Like right there, you see that little bloop, like toward the cuticle of white? Like that actually, I think, is a missed spot. Wait, which was blurry? This was blurry? That was blurry? I don't know. I'm sorry. I wish the Brio co cooperated more. Should I turn off the autofocus? For this hand turning off the autofocus has its own challenges <laughs> mm. 
Plus I have both cameras on right now, so sometimes I forget to look at both screens. The tutorial camera tends to take priority. <clears throat> Thank you, Sting. I, I'm, you know, I will admit I'm a very tough critic of myself, especially if something doesn't turn out looking the way I wanted it to, which honestly this doesn't because we moved away from my original plan when we took out the pink and we added the purple instead. But I really like the way this turned out and I really, I feel like I should do scoop marbles more often because this was really cool. What the hell is that? Do I have something open in the background that just decided to like fucking make noise? Literally what the fuck? Okay. I'm still not sure what that was, but I think I muted it. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, the one-handed bottle tip for sure. Trying to trying to get as much top coat as I can. This one too, I see a couple like little bubbles. Sesh Vetal. Sesh Vetal self-level and smooth all those out. Like, well, you can't even barely see now. There were some on the side there and they've already been smoothed out. You can kind of see there. See in the reflection right there, they're almost just like little small tiny dimples. And Sesh Feet will just do his thing. And now they're, yeah, see, they're gone. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, when I mentioned Sesh Feet. <sighs> Pinwheel cookie. I'm, you know what? I'm going to have to make cookies. I really. I, re I really want some cookies. You guys, I like these. This one is pretty cool. It's not cool because it's the reddest one, Gidge. It's cool because it has that, that wiggle right in the middle of the nail. Wiggle, wiggle 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 like I tried to do like you can go I mean you can get like a more vertical shape I was trying to kind of intentionally get like some horizontal action in there but like that is probably one of the most successful wiggles and I'm not even sure that might have been added after like the first pass or so this is this is cool I'd say like the out, even the outliers, like they're outliers. But when you look at the whole thing together, I mean, this hand is distinctly lighter, especially if you include the thumb. Yeah, I like it. Mm. Yay. See, Amethyst, did you, did you do what you were planning or did you change your, uh, did you change your plan? Polished on. Yeah, they have a very agate feel. In fact, I have been able to get kind of designs like this with water marbling with a really random kind of a swirl pattern. Um, some of you guys might remember the agate water marble that we did, especially this one reminds me of that. Juicy. Yeah. The colors are juicy. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I, I really, it's, it's been years. I'm pretty sure I'm safe to say it's been years since I've actually done a scoop marble and I'm so pleased with how these turned out. I still think I have a little bit of a divot where that, that little eyeball is, but it's okay. It's, it's okay. I'm not going to add another. Look, I mean, I was going to wear this last Friday for National Wear Red Day got like shimmers inside of it but we just didn't get around to it so i mean some other time yeah wiggle hype exactly music gal knows exactly the struggle i'm going through because music gal did a a drag marble a drag marble a scoop marble 
was that? That was over a week ago now, because it was before I was originally planning to do this. And if you want to check out that, there's pictures of it on Discord. Somebody exclamation point Discord for anybody that's new and would like to join and would like to see other people's nail pictures. I'll overestimate it on coats needed. That's good. <laughs> All right, son. Good night. I hope you, I hope you, oh, 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 what's, what's my new catchphrase? I hope you have a restful slumber. And I hope you have a restful slumber as well, Luke. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, a week and a half ago. Yeah. So. <sighs> I'm so happy with these. I would really love. Okay. So like the next time I do like a scoop marble, I the the what I have found in my very limited experience with them is that they work best with creams because creams tend to play nicely with each other and you get these cool marbled patterns and where they bleed together, they kind of, you know, they turn into other colors and the pattern isn't really sacrificed even though you have like the colors bleeding together. I would like to, oh, that was my tummy. Um, I would like to find a, uh, like a shimmer or a fine glitter that would work with one of these. The problem with like shimmers and glitters is that they like disperse in a way that I, that is like not like how I want it. Like I want them to stay to themselves within a marble pattern and not like disperse too much throughout the other colors. I don't know if I'm really making sense, but you might know. You might, you might know what I'm talking about. Just like to have, or I would like to do one with creams and then go in and do some little metallic accents like like I convinced Musical to do but like more in with the design I don't I don't feel like this color combination really like would would play to it but you know like add in just go along the little edges and add in just a little bit of gold or a little bit of silver and try to like shloom, bling it up a little bit or a little bit of hollow I could use linear hollow Ooh, maybe I could do that I could get some colors that don't bleed very much and then I could pick one of them and I could trace it with linear hollow after the marble that's too much work but I might do it um Gidge are you gonna are you gonna stream are you gonna just are you gonna just chill out I am going to figure out what I'm having for dinner and I'm gonna make it and then I'm also going to make cookies because I really want cookies. Um, do we have... What do we have here? Um, Plando? Plando? What is Plando? Is that like a rando for Ori? Poogle's playing Ori. Squid's playing Zelda. Narnia's doing P5 shell bindings. Roy's playing Blasphemous. Oh, Crit left me a, a lurk, but then now Crit's streaming. Doot doot, motherfucker. Undertale. Um, What else we got going on here? Thistle. Looks like she's maybe doing some Pantheon stuff. Um, Julia's doing Dark Souls. What do you guys want to see? What are you guys in the moon for? I don't... I guess I'm not too surprised. It's like 11. I was like, maybe Toby will still be out on. I haven't rated Toby lately, but he doesn't usually go this late. Um, what would you guys like to see? If you don't feel like it, it's okay. But consider... The sometimes streaming is awesome even if you don't feel like it in the first place. I was not in the mood to do my nails and now look what I got because I made myself sit down and do it and it's fantastic. So sometimes you just gotta like get past that uh, to get to the ooh, you know? Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, I will try to keep an eye out. I'm very... I'm very bad. If I like start watching a stream, then I just like, I forget to check if other people that I also like to watch are streaming. Like I can watch more than one stream at a time. Sometimes I just get distracted and I forget this. Um, I don't know. I don't know where I should send you guys. Shit. What? 
fog go to fog oh fog canyon are you still are you did you not finish your rando i thought you finished your rando okay that was my stomach again i gotta figure out where to send you guys i gotta i gotta finish the word to the what do you guys do you guys have a preference do you guys not care Because you just, you just haven't practiced enough yet, Gage. Sorry. <laughs> that was a lot of squeaky sounds. Some people probably were like, oh. um, 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 um. what please what the, with the with the with the sounds i'm sorry it was unintentional it's you know you don't have to if you don't want to but it might be more fun than you think it is just like my nails were okay i think i'm gonna send you guys to thistle because her stream is mellow and because she's doing hollow night and because i know you guys like mellow streams and I'm pretty sure most of you guys like Hollow Knight. And it's too late for most of my creative people to be on. So there's one creative person that I watch like really in the middle of the night or late in the morning. They're a chalk artist. I should raid them sometime after like a, a late night Hollow Knight stream or something. Make salmon. Oh, that actually sounds good. All right. Yeah, we, we just dropped a Discord link shortly ago. So if you would like to join my Discord please feel free to you're welcome you guys thanks for hanging out in fact maybe i'll drop it again just in case um everybody's welcome to join we hang out there we post pictures there that type of stuff i'm gonna raid us over to thistle do if you want to come along and raid with me and do a simple little raid thistle is very good at boss fights if you if you want some fucking radiance tips gidge stay tuned or i don't know bring your phone in the shower and watch uh because this was really good um simple little braid beanies if you got them and yeah um my my brain has, has just like already shifted gears i can't even like think how to do like a proper wrap up because i'm like ooh, should i like make the cookies and then like while they're in the oven then i can make my food or like what am i making for food do i need to make the food and then while it's cooking then i can do cookies or like is the food going in the oven and then maybe it could be in there with the cookie like my brain is strictly on cookies and food so well okay like maybe not in the shower if it's not waterproof but like okay i'm gonna admit it there's a ledge right out the shower well i'll put the phone and i'll watch some twitch while i'm in the shower don't du don't judge me it's fine <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that i'm gonna get food if you need food get some food if you need sleep get some sleep if you need something else hopefully you can get that I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your evening, afternoon, or morning. Thank you for brightening my evening, and I hope I'll see you next time. All right. Let's, uh, oh wait, I lost my sound. Oh, it's because I muted it before because of that weird sound. You? <laughs> and of course if you're on youtube and you you stayed around to this end crazy weird part where i have trouble saying goodbye to things um thank you for watching if you love nail art please subscribe to my simple little pleasures and if you'd like to join me live you can come follow at twitch.tv slash colette mslp i hope you enjoyed and of course thanks for watching